with wreaths for me, I'm more wild the better. Um, hopefully you have a lot of space on your wall or your door to make that work. I really just like to sort of create an organized chaos. And I find that beautiful. Something that feels like found on the forest floor. For today's workshop, I chose um, some of the cedar, some ice cedar. I love eucalyptus, I'm from California. Redwood. So for color, I really love these quints. Being down in the New York market, I found these cecropia leaves and they're actually tropical, but I feel like they, they have this perfect sort of autumnal, seasonal, languid flow to them that I just had to have in the wreaths. I'm using curly willow and Victorian birch as my base. The color story today is really inspired by all of the silvery and the yellow greenery that I found. Um, it's a little bit unexpected, but I think it works well, rather than the typical like red and green holiday. doing flowers since I was 18. I actually was working at a French bakery in college and just one day walked by a flower shop on Charles Street in Boston and was like, popped in, asked them if they were hiring and they said yes. I'm not like an, a seasonal, like a holiday only kind of wreath person. I'm, create wreaths all times of the year. And so really it's like whatever's inspiring you and in seasonal. It's always good if you're going to be making wreaths to pick something that dries well. Um, that's why around the holidays it's really great. Everything, all these cedars, all the pines, all of that dry, all the evergreens and uh, conifers, they dry really well and they have a great scent. And so when they dry, they just like smell so good and it's like the best part of holiday, bringing nature inside. <laughs>